The heavy duty segment has been really busy recently with brand new trucks from Ford and from General Motors and now from Ram, which is showing off the all new 2019 heavy duty 2500 and 3500 trucks. And I'm here in Nevada to give them a spin. The heavy duty truck segment is all about numbers and Ram's got them. Starts with a 6.4 liter gasoline V8 engine and then goes up to a 6.7 liter Cummins diesel inline six, which starts at 850 foot pounds of torque. But if that isn't enough, in the 3500, you can get a version that makes a thousand foot pounds of torque. The first time in this category that anything has gone that high. Only Ford, GM, and Ram offer heavy-duty trucks, and they're always out to one-up each other. Ram is advertising best-in-class towing on the new heavy-duty at 35,100 pounds, and if you wonder why that extra 100 pounds is tacked on, it's because Ford can pull 35,000. GM has launched its all-new heavy-duty models for 2019, while Ford will have its new Super Duty out for 2020. Ford hasn't announced any specifications for that truck yet, but if it isn't at least 1,000 foot-pounds as well, I'll sit down and eat one. The 2019 Ram starts at 57,995 for the base tradesman and goes up to the top of the line limited at 80,495. That's for two wheel drive and for the gasoline engine. More power equals more money, of course. It's an additional 9,450 to add the 850 foot pound engine. To get the high output diesel and a stronger transmission, you'll add 11,950 to your truck. The Ram is a good looking truck and it's certainly in your face with a taller and more upright grille to handle the extra cooling. For this new truck, the hood is made of aluminum for weight savings. The frame has been beefed up for the extra capability with stronger axles and differential and the brakes are improved. Inside, Ram has long been the leader for interior styling and quality and this is more of the same. There are six trim levels and depending on which one you choose, you get vinyl or leather seats and real wood and metal trim. The Mega Cab has reclining rear seats with storage bins behind them, and the new center console is configurable and larger than before, and there's a ton of storage space. The center screen comes in 5 inch and 8.4 inch, depending upon the trim level, but you can also get a 12 inch behemoth with swipe functions that operate like a tablet. On the road, the Ram is a pleasure to drive. The steering is well weighted and the ride is smooth, although I do find the handling on Ford and GM trucks to be just a little more responsive, and if it's possible to say this about something so big, a bit more nimble. Towing is pretty much effortless, as you'd expect, and the Ram is very well behaved when there's a load on the back. I towed a horse trailer uphill where I hardly felt it back there. Downhill, the exhaust brake makes it easier to stay at a manageable speed. The new truck has several cameras available, including one that looks directly into the bed so you can quickly check the load while driving. It also makes it easier to line up a gooseneck or fifth wheel trailer. And here's one thing I really like. The towing mirrors now have power adjustment on the convex portion, making it faster and easier to get your mirrors just right. Big trucks, big torque, and that's what the 2019 Ram is all about. And for Driving.ca, I'm Joe McIntosh.